when you finish and you've taken your picture or you've made your video or you've used Doodle Buddy and you're all finished, then you may get onto Reflex and we'll all come together later and we'll put it onto KidBlock. My name is Alicia Newitt. Um, I teach first grade at Kelly Brook Elementary. This is my 10th year uh, in the district, my 14th year teaching. Well, I feel like number one, the engagement level of students has increased. Um, just there's a, there's a variety for them to do when they're working independently. Um, the iPad adds like an extra element to that. If I call your name, you're gonna get your iPad. You're gonna get onto Reflex. My name is Erin Grisafi, and I am a parent of one of the children in Miss Newitt's classroom. His father and I have definitely seen a um, improvement this year compared to last year. Um, now we only have that one year to compare it to, but um, and I think a lot of it is Miss Newitt. She yeah. is absolutely your wonderful, well, and diapers. technology I'm sure has a huge piece in it as well. I guess is the element of like instant feedback. So some of those online programs that they're using on a daily basis provide me instant feedback. So while I'm working with groups, they're on some different programs. Um, so I'm getting feedback from the group I'm working with, but at the same time, I'm getting feedback from the other 18, 20 kids in the classroom that are on these programs. So um, that helps me you know, because in the past they've just been reading and I don't always know if they're reading the whole time and I'm not always getting information from that. So um, that's really helpful, um, just more feedback. Um, so I think it's really important. Um, they are able to learn so much more, my opinion, by having unlimited resources with the web. You can get your iPad or your dry erase board your choice, and then meet me right back on the carpet. As a parent, you know, always voice concerns and get information and, you know, just be as much a part of your child's education as you can, um, but also, you know, just be open to kind of the changes that are coming because um, they're gonna keep coming. And, um, you know, we're really wanting to, to prepare your child for, for their future and, and really for the, the current reality because, um, you know, they, they just need to know how to, how to function in the world today and without technology it's going to be really, really hard.